So we're here with uh, Merlin, and who are you? Hi, my name is Sharad Bachani, and I'm uh, a co-founder at Merlin Digital. Uh, I'd like to introduce this uh, new kit that we just created called uh, IntelliSense Coherence Kit. Uh, it's a combination of a virtual reality headset, a sensitive heart rate sensor that's able to read RR intervals, which allows, allows us to calculate a person's heart rate variability, and a special application that we've designed. So it all, go, it all works together. And uh, the idea behind the app is that uh, by measuring HRV, we're, we're getting a glimpse into uh, a person's autonomic nervous system. Uh, the, the, the way the heart functions, it's very closely tied to the ANS. And uh, we're not just measuring a person's heart rate, but the time interval between each heart rate, which is the heart rate variability. And by, uh, by measuring that, we, we actually are able to deduce a person's state of mind, uh, whether he's stressed, relaxed, things like that. So uh, how we incorporate that into virtual reality is we've created these virtual scenes like a desert oasis, a beach in Hawaii, or the Valley of Flowers in the Himalayas. And depending on your preference, you can select where you want to go. And uh, the visual scenes will reflect the state of your mind. So for instance, if you're in the desert oasis and if there's a sandstorm blowing, that's because you're a little stressed. And there'll be on-screen guidance to, if you follow the guidance and if you breathe with a pacer, uh, you end up becoming more focused and more connected, more in coherence as we would call it. And that would reflect in the virtual reality. So you'll see stars and the moon and things becoming peaceful. So what you see is basically your state of mind. I'll just, uh, so those are the instructions. Uh, you relax and then breathe with the pacer. When the pacer becomes big, you breathe in. When it becomes small, you breathe out. And you try to focus on your chest area to closer to your heart. And this is the different state of uh, the different states of stress that you could be in. Low, uh, red being the lowest, and green excellent, where your body is functioning as one. So, is this for training? Well, uh, you could use it for a whole bunch of different purposes. For you know, for me, I would personally use it in the office. You know, after having a stressful meeting or before you know. Uh, 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 you know, long days work, just use this to get more relaxed and connected. Uh, I could see sports people using it for more concentration and focus. So lots of users, students, before examinations for anxiety. So, <laughs> I mean, really. It's better than taking pills and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, the idea is that if you use it for a f you know, few minutes every day, it sort of guides you to uh, be like this all day. It could be the secret weapon for the gold medalists in the next uh, Olympics. <laughs> well, I really, well, I sincerely right. hope so. So let's see how it looks like. You're, you're, uh, you're I'm, I'm placing it inside the headset now. Now just increase the volume. So we can see uh, remotely over there what's going on. Right. Uh, if you don't mind, Abdullah, could we get more volume on the TV? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna put the sensor on you because we wanted to. So what happens with that sensor? Okay, so it's gonna get her pulse, pulse. Uh, her heart rate, oh. but also uh, it, it, this this is a, this is most slightly more sensitive than most heart sensors. So it's also able to read the RR interval, and that's how we deduce the HRV score. R the interval. So it's yeah. not just a normal pulse sensor. Oh no. Uh, so we are not just measuring your resting heart rate, but also your heart rate variability. And that's the key over here. Heart oh. rate variability. So, so what? Yeah, what are we? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Alex. So you can actually look around, Jenny. Okay. And uh, somewhere over there, there's a moon, right? Yeah. Now, there is moon. Yeah. In the if, you, if you can keep looking at the moon, a little to your right, yeah. And just keep looking at it. And now, if you focus your breathing you'll see that the more focus you get, the brighter the moon becomes. And you can, you can sort of see shooting stars and things coming up. So focus your breathing. And uh, follow the instructions the guidance system is giving you. So we can see right now she's in a normal state. Yeah. Can you stand over here? Yeah. So what, what is the information that we see on the screen over there? So on the screen what we're seeing is her current state of coherence, which is low to normal. Her heart rate variability score, which we've, uh, which is calculated at 65. Her resting heart rate, which is 80 beats a minute. And we put a gamification element into the system. 
So the better your <laughs> level of coherence, the higher your score. So you can actually use it to compete with other people. So it's not very good right now, or is the score is zero? Score is zero, because uh, she you can see the sandstorm blowing and all, she's not able to focus. <laughs> You're not focusing? <laughs> oh, really? You know I'm not focusing? We can make, yeah, you we, have to yeah, focus. You, I suggest you keep looking at where I, where I over here, where the moon was, and keep breathing with the circle. Yeah, and follow, and follow the instructions it, uh, it gives you. So breathing with the and circle. take your time, it take you a few minutes to calm down. So, uh, how did you, how, how is this developed? What is this app? Well, how, how do you, how do you make this? Well, uh, we've been making virtual reality apps for around a year now. Uh, our head offices are in Dubai and we work closely with a team of programmers in Japan. So we work together to come up with this. It's taken about um, nine months of development and we're finally ready to hopefully launch at CES in Jan. And how many different worlds can you enter with this kind of uh, system? Well, we plan to keep it open in the future. Initially, we'll just have three worlds that we've created. And then we, uh, we plan to create the platform open so you can import your own 360 photographs or videos and just have the guidance and the breathing system overlaid on that. So what do people say in the medical field about this? Well, HRV is, uh, has been something that doctors, especially in, the, in, the, in cardiologists, have been using as a marker for, for quite a few years. Um, these days, it's easy now with smartphone technology and uh, you know, the low cost of sensors for everybody to start using HRV. But medically, it's been established as a very good marker for not just heart health, but also as a marker for, uh, to see if other organs in your body are working well as well. So. It's very important, uh, technology, healthcare in the future. Do you have other plans? You have well, big plans? <laughs> well, you know, we're going to take it step by step. Uh, we hope that people, you know, uh, uh, use this well and uh, they find some uh, benefits from it. And uh, there are ideas to take this forward into, uh, you know, like you said, more virtual worlds, uh, have uh, the capacity to increase sensor technology. So, yeah, plans are there to make it easier and better. There's something special that uh, you include for people who get this product. That's right. So uh, every time you buy a product, uh, you buy the coherence kit. Um, we um, adopt a hero rat for you for a month. Um, a hero rat basically is this uh, these rats around Africa that go around sniffing landmines. Uh, landmines don't explode when a rat sort of goes on it because they need five or six kg to activate. But uh, they do unfortunately activate when kids and adults go on them. So these rats go around sniffing landmines out, and uh, you'll get a voucher to see the rat that we've adopted for you. And you have the option to continue with ado adoption if you like it after the first one. Uh, during the first month, you'll get to see every day how many landmines have been sniffed and also the rats are trained to sniff TV. So instead of sending TV from people who are, uh, uh, you know, who uh, they suspect of having uh, the disease and uh, sending it to a lab can take a lot of time, the rats can sniff out TV in a day. They can, well, how do they sniff out TV? From the blood. From the blood? Yeah, so you just have those vials of blood and the rats are able to detect which blood is infected with TB and which is not. It's, it's, their, their noses are really unbelievable. Who got, who got this idea to use rats? Uh, well, uh, if you Google hero rats, you know, you'll come to know. The person's a fellow at Ashoka. Uh, he's from uh, some part of Europe. So I, I don't have his name, I'm afraid, but uh, uh, yeah, he's a, he's, he's a genius. Cool, and uh, so it might go in the Congo or wherever else there might be some... Yeah, so right now they're in parts of Africa, not all over, but uh, they're looking to expand.